Well, from halfway across the map, Jacob heard that the bowler hat was ready, and he's racing over there to get it. He cannot wait to wear a poor birdskin bowler hat. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more RimWorld royalty, where in exciting news, Naked Jacob has finally decided to join our colony. Naked Jacob has seen the error of his ways in attacking us and has settled down with us. Now, Jacob is still mostly naked. Jacob has a terrible pair of pants on. It's a 40, he has 47% pants on right now, which can only mean that 53% of them are not pants. So Jacob's pretty fussed about that, although he's not technically sad about being naked anymore. He's just mostly naked. Now, did I queue up? Because I record these in advance. Did I queue up? Yes, I queued up a whole outfit for Naked Jacob. So at that point, I'll probably stop calling him Naked Jacob. Or I might not. I might continue to call him Naked Jacob. Just because it's a fun phrase to say. Everyone else is having a nap. What is the next thing I have to do around here? Um, only sort of slow it down a little bit there, RimWorld Royalty. We've got some food growing, which is good. We've got some hay growing for Cunic and Ray, the sheep. We have our newly created Hall of the Dead, which is where all the dead bodies are going to go, and apparently a sleeping raccoon, who can feel free to munch on the corpse if that makes the raccoon happy. Ah, Naked Jacob is up and about and gardening. Good move. Welcome to the team. Who is actually on crafting duty? Who's going to be, or tailoring rather is what I mean to say, tailoring. Uh, Naked Jacob himself is kind of meh about tailoring. And you're five and you are four. Okay, so everyone's sort of eh, okay with tailoring. I would like to get some clothes down and then I want to think about what the next logical step is around here. Well, good old Victory the donkey here who now knows how to haul things brought in one piece of silver. Really, Victory? You couldn't have grabbed anything else while you were out there. Naked Jacob is down here doing some naked mining along with everyone else and going for the silver. Well, apparently Victory's going to haul that one piece at a time. That could take a while. I think my next logical step might be some more power around here. We've only got the one wooden generator. That's not going to last very long. And if I put something down here... I can also chop down all these trees if I do wind power. Kunik is pregnant. Oh, great. More sheep. Super. That's some more mouths to feed, but that's great. That's that's totally fine. Um, Well done, Ray and Kunik, I guess. Yeah, I think my immediate plan is let's get a wind turbine right there. Because with the hay fields behind it, nothing else will grow there. I can take down some of these trees just to make room for the, the wind, I guess. We need to make room for wind. Uh, Lou, are you on that? Well, you're you're chopping down trees. Did I, did I tell you to do that? Or are you just doing that to make room for the wind generator? Anyway, either way, good job, Lou. Awesome hat. Now, Luxembourg's over here making some chairs, which is fantastic. It's great to have a place to sit, Yeoman Luxembourg, but... What I'd also like to get going, did I put a bill down? No, I did not. For any stone blocks. Yeah, make any stone blocks. I don't care what you make them out of. Just grab whatever is nearby and get that done. Then we can start making things out of stone rather than out of steel, which will be a little less of a drain on our steel resources. We don't have a ton over here. And there may not be a lot to mine. I'll probably bisect this mountain and see what's in here at some point. But right now, let's just get some stone cooking along. There's lots and lots of good chunks in the area you can be making that out of. No, no, you've decided to go for chair. All right, fair enough. Well, you are going to want to sit down somewhere, I guess. Who's actually on stone cutting duty? Now, much like tailoring, everyone is kind of meh at it. No particular superstars in the crafting world. And you guys are all up in growing, mining, and plant cutting. Let's take... Here, okay, who's reasonably decent at crafting and tailoring? So you're four and four. You are five and 
five and four and four because it's all the same number, Dave. Yeah, it, it just applies to the same skill, Dave. It's very early in the morning when I when I record these. Okay, um, who was five? Was that Luxembourg? Yeah. So you, you're two on hunting, but nothing else. You're going to be two on, no, actually on smithing, even though we don't have a smithing station yet, tailoring and crafting. I need you to start making things around here. Uh, Jacob, Jacob, where are you going? Where, where are you going? You're harvesting a berry bush. Did I, did I authorize that? Because it's way up here. Apparently I did authorize that. Ooh, could you grab these components while you're up here? Yeah, skip the berry bush. Just haul those components. Components are way more valuable than berries, he says, as the colony will probably starve to death this winter and we can't eat components, can we? Well, not very successfully. But yeah, get those components in and then you can go back to doing whatever it is you think you do around here. How are we on food? We've got an amount of meals. We have some meals on hand. I could probably stand to see a little bit more meat coming in here. Is there anything out in the world that needs to get murdered that won't fight back? Not really. Not really. Okay, everything is possibly going to fight back. So let's go, well, go big or starve to death over the winter. Let's go hunt a muffalo and see how that all works out. Yeah, Z's all over it like a cheap suit and it's going, um, it's going. I mean, it's not not going. The muffalo is taking damage. Is this one of those points where we maybe just want to walk away and let it bleed to death? In eight hours? Seven hours? In... You want to take another one there? Six hours? Okay, this is actually... Yeah, there we go. Z solved the problem. But more importantly, Luxembourg is making clothing for Naked Jacob. Naked Jacob's going to be super happy about that because Naked Jacob only has 47% pants. Is it still 47? Uh, no, 46% pants. The hole has gotten slightly larger, Naked Jacob. All right, well, Luxembourg's on the case. What are you making first? Oh, pants. Oh, excellent. Good job bringing in the heel root, Naked Jacob. There's a terrible pair of pants for you. They're very, very poor pants, but they're 100% pants. They're not 46% pants. Are you going to put them on now? Uh, no, Naked Jacob, J Naked Jacob, come here. Put on some pants, man. There, there's mixed company here. And a new quest available, substantial building. What does that do for a living? All right, Praetor somebody of the Empire of the Spirit, build a monument to commemorate her own ears. Well, I can't think of a better monument. Three by three in size, any metallic wood or stone times 25 and slate blocks that we don't have right now. And we need to do it within 11 days. We could probably, all right, just hold off on that thought for right now. I'll come back to that in a sec. Oh, what are you making? You're making marble. Okay, I can change that. Do we have slate? Yeah, there's some slate right up here. And the other ingredients we, we would theoretically have. Okay, um, change this bill. Just, you know, when you're done with those blocks, I'm going to change this around. Actually, I'll just put in make slate blocks and bump that up to the top. So do, I don't know, start with like 10, or I don't know, 15, 15, there you go. 15 is a fantastic number, one of my favorites. And it's a little bit far away, but I'm gonna have them start thinking about mining out this steel over here because we're only gonna need more of it. It's a vital resource and, uh, oh, grab this heel root while you're here. Yeah, get all of that, please. We're gonna need some medicine before winter hits. How's everything going up here? It's going fine, broadly, in that nobody's actually doing anything. You've made, what were those again? Marble blocks. That's super. Oh, it's nap time. Okay. Did anyone make a move on my wind turbine? A little tiny bit. Okay, we've dumped some components in there, and Pregnant Kunik is just walking right on by the blueprint. Oh, Ray Kunik, I didn't expect that to happen so quick. I guess you guys like each other. Well, Naked Jacob is so excited to be part of the colony. He was the first one up in the morning. I notice you're kind of wearing a shirt. Yeah, you've put on a shirt. Good, you've figured out how shirts work. It's 100% of a shirt, by the way. It doesn't even have any holes in it. And then later, we'll get you a jacket and a hat. Actually, I think we made the hat. Didn't we make the hat? I thought I saw them say that they'd finish the hat. Oh, Z took the hat. Oh, that's sad. Okay, well, let's let's get another hat queued up then. Uh, maybe not a cowboy hat, though. If Z's going to wear the cowboy hat, then you can wear a bowler hat. 
There you go, Jacob. You'll be all fancy and stuff. Not as fancy as Lou in the top hat. Slightly less fancy, but fancy nonetheless. Where were you going, by the way? Oh, you're going off to do the steal. That's probably a good move. Yeah, and Z's going to help you with that. Z is probably admiring your new shirt. And another quest, Ship to the Stars. That would be the, yeah, the AI one. We're, we're not going to do that anytime in the near future because that would be suicide, but we'll kind of back burner that one and see if we might want to get to that many, many years in the future. Oh dear, Royal Tribute. Hi, Tribute Collector, you say? The one who gives over tribute will receive Royal Favor. Oh, neat. I, I sure, yeah, absolutely. What do I, what do I actually give them? Ah, prisoners and gold. I have neither of those. They'll hang around the colony before they leave. You can attack them, but that will anger the faction. It'll also get us all killed. That ain't gonna happen. All right, we have neither gold nor prisoners, so um, I hope they're not gonna be mad about that. They're gonna come by and go, you don't have our tax, so we're going to shoot you all. I hope not, because I don't have any prisoners. If you'd come by like 48 hours ago, I did have a naked guy you could have had, but I was really planning on keeping him for myself. Well, from halfway across the map, Jacob heard that the bowler hat was ready, and he's racing over there to get it. He cannot wait to wear a poor birdskin bowler hat. He is so excited about this, he stopped everything he was doing to go wear a hat. Good job. Great, great job, guys. Oh, the guys are here. Um, Valentin, the, the royal tax collector. Um, we don't, we don't have any money. More people... Sorry, can we defer these payments to a later date? Is that, um, is there any sort of payment plan we can institute with you? Are you guys just going to hang out and then leave if we don't have the money? That'd be great. Love your guards, by the way. Can I have a few of those? Oh, and Luxembourg has made some slate blocks. 60 of them, if we're honest about things. Let me go back to that quest and see if we can actually do that. So 25 pieces of metal, wood, or stone. Check. And 16 slate blocks check. I think we can do this and it will get to royal favor and I'll accept with Luxembourg because Luxembourg's already going up the royal path here. A pod has arrived you say. Oh yes it did. It slammed down right there. Hi what do I do with you? I install you somewhere. Right. Um, where are we going to put a statue to somebody's ears? How about by the Hall of the Dead? We'll make it all fancy down here. It can be right outside the Hall of the Dead. You can live right there. Uh, we should probably get on that. Who's my best construction-y person, construction -y guy? Not you, that's for sure. Three, six, and three. Luxembourg, you're going to build the statue to ears. Oh, never mind. Lou jumped the gun on that. Lou is all over that like a cheap suit and Luxembourg doesn't get a shot at it. So how do we monument missing blueprints? Okay, what do you need those blueprints to be? Okay, place the blueprints. Alrighty. So slate blocks, because we know we needed those, go in here? Yeah, um, there and there. I'm not entirely sure how to do this. Yeah, apparently it was just setting the blueprints and telling them that it was okay to build it. Because Lou's, now that I've done that, Lou's come down and has started to work on it. All the materials seem to be here. I think we built the entire thing out of slate. That's fine. I, I don't care. And Z's in on this too. Yes, I know the pods have arrived. Thank you. Who's having a break risk? Lou? Which problem, Lou? You have a fantastic hat. What's your deal? Oh, yeah, you are, um... You're really sad about things, aren't you? You're wearing male apparel. Yeah, well, it's like 2020, man. You can wear whatever you want. We're totally open here. What are you wearing? What, what's your problem? You're wearing... Is it the pants? Because pants are pretty non-gender specific, Lou. They have been for a really, really long time. Is it the shirt? Is it the top hat? What's your problem? And can I fix your problem? Is there a female shirt in here? Because I'm going to tell you, Lou, a shirt is a shirt. I don't see anything in here that specifically says shirt for women. Uh, all right, well, Lou, you're just going to have to live with that. Well, the monument's going well. Z is out here shearing Kunik. Sorry about this, Kunik. You're getting a, a bit of a haircut, but we'll probably make a chair out of it later or 
I don't know, a rug or whatever. So um, enjoy the haircut. You probably want one. It's 81 degrees outside, so you probably need the uh, the shearing. It'll probably make you more comfortable. How's my monument going, Lou? Very, very sad, Lou. Everything seems to be going okay down here. Jacob, what are you coming down to do? You're also coming in to do some building. Well, great. Good. Are we, are we done with this? I think when Jacob gets that done... Oh, you botched it, Jacob. <sighs> All right. Now, Lou's had a bit of a flummox. All right, you're in serious pain, and now you're going to hide in your room. Is this because of the, the, the shirt thing? I mean, it's not. It's because you're in serious pain. But is it because you're embarrassed about your shirt that I, I don't really understand, if I'm honest? A shirt is a shirt. Just wear the damn shirt, Lou. Yeah, Lou's just off in a funk. Jacob's taking care of everything around here. Well... Enjoy that, Lou. Hopefully when you get hungry enough, you'll come out. How is the, uh, how's the garden doing? Yeah, the rice is coming along. Potatoes are coming along. Hay is coming along for Cunic Ray and future Q and Ray, or Cunic and Ray, apparently. How's my wind turbine coming along, guys? Not really a lot of action on that, huh? Not a super lot of action. Here's the deal, kids. I'm trying to get you more power so I can have an over-the-winter growing area that's inside. It behooves you to get this done. Okay, Lou, you're not 100% wrong about the awful bedroom thing. It's only a minus four, but you're actually not wrong about that. I did dump a couple of recycled urns in your room, but that does not appear to be cheering you up. Let's um, let's start decorating Lou's room. That'll cheer Lou up a little bit, I guess. You can have some wooden floors right there. And you can have, what have I got a lot of? Well, wood basically. Um, actually, don't have no slate now that the slate is um, unnecessary for the monument anymore. I think those guys will be done with that tomorrow. So how about I built you a slate dresser and we put that sort of right here-ish. And then maybe, what's the other thing I've got a lot of? Well, some of marble. How much does end table take? 30? How about you had a marble end table? Who could say no to that? Somebody will probably be in tomorrow to build that for you. Just right now, I don't know, try not to hang yourself or something. Now, Lou's gotten over her little flummox overnight, so despite the fact that Lou is in her room, apparently she's no longer hiding in her room. Luxembourg, what are you making? Uh, you are making a parka. Oh, we finished the monument. Good. Good. Yeah, keep, keep making a parka. So, monument completed. You must not destroy it for at least 15 days. Okay, can do. Can do. So do we get the royal favor then? I, I guess we get royal favor. Luxembourg, you're slightly more royal than you were 10 seconds ago. And uh, what is it? it? It's a plus sign. Well, I can't think of any better monument to somebody's ears than a plus sign. And it looks just fabulous outside the Hall of the Dead. The raccoon is still in there. I noticed that. I think he lives there now. We'll have to kill some more people to keep you fed. Can you not work doors? I don't think you can work the door to get out. Because you don't belong to us, so you don't know how doors work. All right, well, there'll be another corpse in the Hall of the Dead. It'll just be a raccoon corpse. How's my power coming, kids? Now, Lou has a minor complaint about disturbed sleep. There's a major construction project going on in your room. Do you know how hard it is to do hardwood floors? Of course your sleep is disturbed. Z botched that a couple of times, too. We're going to have to start all over again. But anyway, Lou, um, this should cheer you up immensely. And you've got urns and a top hat. You apparently have a shirt you don't like, but I don't really know how to help you with that. Speaking of shirts we don't like, and therefore nothing in particular, we should get a research project going on. I think everything is kind of broadly balanced at this point where we can peel somebody off and get them doing research. So what would we theoretically like to research these days? Ooh, not a lot that I want. Well, machining would be an obvious choice. Machining would be a very, very obvious choice. Complex clothing to noble apparel. What does that make? A corset, you say. Oh, Lou, would you be happy in a corset? I mean, I don't know the answer to that question. The second that question came out of my mouth, it sounded way creepier than it did when it was in my head. But I can only imagine that corset is, by its very nature, female. I really want to get, you know, more practical things going, like machining. 
you know what? It's only 400 research points. Somebody just bang out noble apparel and see if Lou would like to wear a corset. Oh dear, Z's gotten sick. Okay, hang on, Jacob. Jacob, Z just keeled over right in front of you. Do you think you could please rescue Jacob? Yes, rescue Z, the scientist, and we can we can have the gun back. Thank you. It's food poisoning. I do really need to dedicate somebody here to cleaning. I don't want to do that. That's kind of a waste of a colonist to just have people going around cleaning. But this place is indeed a filthy mud hole. Who is, uh, remind me who my best doctor is, please. Lou, you're kind of meh. Actually, Luxembourg, you're pretty spanking good at doctor. All right, go. No, don't strip Z. All right, there's nothing to do to Z. Z just needs to get better. Okay, who would like to do some cleaning around here like a lot? Luxembourg won't do it. Jacob will. Lou will. Um, Lou, what else do you do around here? You're good at prisoners and you're decent at growing. For right now, you're just on highest priority cleaning. A wild boar has self-tamed. Is now designated wild boar number one. Yay, where are you? What's your deal? Okay, I don't think there's much... Oh, there's components there. Try and remember that one, Dave. I don't think there's a whole heck of a lot that I'm going to be able to do with a wild boar. They don't haul. They do attack. All right, well, let's at least get the wild boar, first of all, train you to, yes, attack and guard, sure. You go and live in the animal zone with Kunik and Ray and the future Kunik and Rays when they pop out. There we go. Lou's on a cleaning frenzy now, which is great. This place is completely disgusting. There's blood and dirt and probably victory things around here. So get on that. When you, when it's a little bit cleaner, I'll bump you down to like two on that, but we just need a frantic cleaning of this place. Luxembourg, you're still cutting stone blocks and Z's out for the count. Uh, naked Jacob, who is really not naked anymore, you're cooking. Okay, fair enough. Are you, are you actually any good at that or are you the one who's giving everyone food poisoning around here? Eh, you're, you're meh. You're 4 out of 20 on it. The last thing I kind of want to do today is outline another room. How much? Uh, how many stone blocks have we accumulated? 185 on slate. And do we have any steel in stock? Not a lot. You finished the slate blocks, now you're going to move back to the any blocks you feel like, Bill. Alright, I'm going to outline a slate wall just for a secondary bedroom. And by secondary, it's actually like the fifth, but another bedroom. And this will be for, well, anyone who pops along, really. It's going to be a spare bedroom, which we could easily convert into a prisoner bedroom if we happen to want to Mike Tyson someone into loving us. And that is probably an excellent place to call it on RimWorld royalty for today. Things plug along. Things persist in our little colony here. We have a monument to somebody's ears. Naked Jacob is no longer naked. Lou is really sad about wearing the wrong shirt. But anyway, we'll pick up some more RimWorld royalty next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them! It's a piece of mesh! We figured this out like a hundred years ago! What is wrong with the British, the Irish? Is it just a show about foxes all the time? If so, is that some sort of subtle esoteric thing about being a weapons manufacturer or is it just stuck on the nature channel?